Hi Steve, so uh, that, that's pre-season started, what were your thoughts on, on Saturday? Uh, I thought it was, in the main it was positive actually, I, th I think um, there were yeah, one or two nice surprises, surprise. there were one or two that um, uh, I thought, um, thought did very well considering. Uh, we've you know we've played very very little football in the last 18 months. Um, I think both sides were missing three or four players, so it was in in that respect we were both in the same boat. I think a lot of um, both sides you know obviously changed the side and got a lot of trialists out and people that they wanted to have a look at. So um, yeah, when you consider that 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 will be a side that will probably win the Wessex Prem. They'll you know they are a Division South and West side in the making. That's not a bad result for us. Um, so we'll, we'll cover a few outgoings because uh, we've had a few players uh, depart. Uh, we'll start with uh, Lewis Benson, gone off to Sussex. He's gone off to Lansing College. Yes, yeah. yes. That was a real knock actually because uh, that was uh, very, very late in the day. So um, yeah, absolutely uh, gutted over that one. Obviously, Lewis has been here virtually from the start of uh, of the inauguration of the club, and um, we will miss Lewis greatly. Uh, I know a lot of people were, well, some people were thinking. You know um, that uh, you know, he's getting on a bit, and uh, you know, he's been at the club a little while. But uh, you know, Lewis is one of the fittest, most professional players we've got. We're going to miss his quality. We're going to miss his um, his appetite for the game, um, and we're going to miss him as a personality and a character as well. So uh, yeah, he's um, he's uh, he's a great, he's a huge loss for us, and uh, he's proven very difficult to replace at this stage, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, also departing was Elliot Wheeler, another another long-term player. Fantastic. I'm another player I was absolutely gutted to lose, but I couldn't offer anything to, to Elliot at this stage. He was going to come in, train with us, have a couple of games, just to make sure that his you know his fitness was back to to where we needed it to be. Uh, obviously, he hasn't played a lot of games over the last two years, um, but he had an offer from Gosport and um, decided to take it. And I cannot, you know, I wouldn't in any way. Uh, knocking for that, I do fully understand um, a bird in the hand, undoubtedly. Um, but we left on, you know, on, on really good terms. He's a fantastic lad, and you know, some players you you know leave the club, you think good riddance, get rid of them. You know, hopefully never see him again. He's one person that you know I, I hold, I've got a great affection for. He's a fantastic lad, and he'll be a great servant to, to Gosport as he was for us. So I wish him all the best. And Dominic Jeffries uh, yeah. going up to Brentford. Yeah, well, Dom, um, obviously Dom came here from Newport and uh, it was a little bit of a work in progress, but we got into him and after, you know, three or four games of the season, I think he understood what, it, what, it, what he needed to, to play consistently well at this level. Um, and uh, obviously the season was curtailed early. He went to Brentford and off his own back, uh, paid for his own keep and... Uh, um, his own rent, and um, they rang me after a, a month or so and said, uh, "Fortunately, he's not going to be good enough, but um, for us, we've got better. But um, you know, we're going to—he's going to keep training. Is that okay?" I said, "That's absolutely fine." I said, "But I think you'll find the more he trains with you and the fitter he becomes, I think you'll find that you will have a very good player on your hands." A month or so later, <laughs> he rang me back. He said, "Is he improving?" I said, "Yeah, he certainly is improving." I said, "I told you." Um, and he'll just get better and better. There are some players who play non-league who are professional players, and there are some players who um, just can't can't combine a job and and playing football. And Tom Whelan was one of them, and Dom was another. They both needed full-time football. Um, and Dom, by all accounts, has got better and better. And six months after he joined, they've decided to take him, and I couldn't be happier for him. I've lost a really good player, um, but. You know, in the scheme of things, the bigger picture is that you know we're here to, you know, to help lads get by and to help lads get on, um, and we've certainly played our part in that. So yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased for him, and he fully deserves it after the work he's put in. Yeah, good luck, Tom. Yeah, um, we've got we've got a few arrivals to cover at the risk of this video going on a little bit long, but uh, it all needs covering. So we'll go with uh, Josh Wakefield. First. Yeah, Josh is from um, came from from Weymouth. Um, I spoke to Josh quite early. In the proceedings, um, you know, Josh was always a good player against us. Um, he's a good player on the ball. Um, he's a fantastic footballer, um, and hopefully he'll um, he'll be able to show everybody that is the case. Uh, Aaron McCready. Yeah, Aaron's a, a lad, young lad that we've we've taken. Um, Gosport released him, and um, 
Uh, we take him, he's a, he's a little bit all action, he's a, you know, one of the fittest lads I've ever seen. He'll get about the park, it's a big pitch, so we need those sort of legs. Uh, Patrick O'Flaherty in yeah, goal? Yeah, we just, you know, we've had such a struggle over the last couple of years with goalkeepers. Um, I've, I've watched him play numerous times for Gosport, he's a big strong lad. Um, and um, you know, when the ball comes in our box, sometimes that can be a problem. It hasn't been of late, but sometimes it can. If you've got a nice big keeper, will come and get stuff, which he will. Then uh, that alleviates a lot of the pressure. Yeah, yeah he's, he's a very big lad as well. Yeah. Uh, Dylan Jones just arrived. Uh, yeah, this Dylan's week. Um, uh, a right-sided player, um, sort of really versatile, young lad from Newport. Showed a great attitude, um, been excellent in training, and was very good. Um, Saturday scored a wonderful goal so Great yeah goal. looking forward to, to working with him. Yeah it was a fantastic goal. Um, I've said to a few people what actually made it better for me is it looked like the chance had almost gone. Uh, well, so it's the, I mean to have that back. sort of peripheral vision yeah. as you're facing that way you turn instantly and hit it into the corner yeah, uh, shows great aptitude yeah. Uh, so we've got uh, our match tickets are available online for our next two upcoming friendlies um, which we've got Limington on Saturday the 10th and AFC Totten on Saturday the 17th. So looking forward to uh, Limington this Saturday. Uh, yeah, what, what's side has been promoted to Division yeah. South and West, so um, should be a decent game. It's another game, a um, little bit like Porchy, where you know we don't want to be, uh, we'll, have a, we'll have enough ball to make it a game worth worthwhile. We're not going to be chasing for 90 minutes. Um, it's, a, it's another one of those where we can get 60 minutes into the lads. They can use it as a, you know, it's a really good working exercise um, against you know decent opposition. So yeah, it should be another good game. And tickets are available for that online. You can pay on the gate with a card, but um, as people found out on Saturday, it was so much quicker going through when you paid online. So that is preferred um, if you can do. Um, just a word on that. We're showing the England games up in the bar. Yeah. Um, Semi final this Wednesday. Which yeah, get up there and. Uh, yeah, if uh, joining the merriment. There's there's food available. Check our website. Um, so yeah, come along. It's, it's it's been really well supported up there. So yeah, come along. That'd be great. Um, I think a quick word. As we're so busy with uh, volunteers here yeah, today. Fantastic. A quick word on that, Steve. No, I, look. As we said, this level, I can't. You know, people who come and give their time up freely like this is absolutely fantastic. And uh, the clubs like us can't survive without them. They are, you know, the the fulcrum of of. of of football clubs like like this, you know, non-league clubs need these these good people around, and it, it's you know, it's, it's just it's just nice to know that there are so many so many decent people around who are willing to help like this. So, um, you know, as I say, we're always much appreciated, and we can't thank them enough. Yeah, that's brilliant. Right, thank you very much for your time, Steve. I'll let you get on Pleasure. and um, get along to the game on Saturday. Cheers.